What's up guys, Justin here for SNS Archery. In today's gear video, we have a Matthews V3X here in the shop. But in today's video, we are looking at the HHA Spot Hog and Black Gold sights, and we are gonna be fitting them inside the new bridge lock technology of this Matthews bow. So a lot of these sights have compatible dovetails, some had to change. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna cover those three brands, show you which one fits the best, and also help you out in setting these up initially so your sight in process is much easier. All right guys, so taking a look at the sights that we're gonna be covering today, first up we have the black gold sights. So they just came out with a compatible dovetail for this new V3X. Uh, the wait time on these new dovetails is pretty slow. Uh, definitely get your order in if you have an existing site already. You can always cancel it. You know, we're happy to do that for you guys, so at least you're in line. Uh, another option, if you're looking for a complete site, definitely check out our SNS Backcountry Pro Hunter. It's spec'd out. Love the site. Uh, we usually see a shipment about once a month, but it does come with that V3X compatible dovetail already. So definitely check that out. I'll put a link right here so you guys can get a detailed look at that site. Um, but we are going to check out the Black Gold. Uh, new dovetail. Next up, we have the Spot Hog. So the Fast Eddy XL, and we're going to be looking at it in a double pin. And then also the triple stack housing. And lastly, we're going to be looking at the HHA Tetra Tournament. So we have a single pin um, and a four pin with the XL housing. So these are the sites we're going to cover. Uh, we'll do them one by one, show you the fitment, how they're going to seat in there, um, and then uh, we will help you out in setting these up, give you some uh, tips on that initial sight in process. So getting to our first sight, we have the black gold. So you can see it fits in there nice. You do have a little bit of up and down movement, but not that much. So we'll go ahead and set that set screw. You kind of just want to wiggle it back and forth, lightly tighten it to where you Basically that pin is right in one of these divots so you can be consistent. And just note that, you know, black gold is out of these sites we're looking at today. They're the only ones with that four inch dovetail. Uh, so I know in previous video I've done with the tight spot quiver, uh, if you're gonna run that quiver, you want that bracket to head in towards your hand and have the closest fit this four inch dovetail is gonna be the only one you're gonna be able to do it on unless you slide that housing way out on these longer uh, dovetails. Um, but you can see there, it's a great fit. Uh, you know, wasn't tough at all to get in there. Definitely locked into place. As far as the set screw lining up with the divot, it's placed uh, pretty much perfect. Uh, so definitely a good fit for number one here with the black golds. So taking a look at your Fast Eddy XL, so you can see you do have a little bit more up and down, but you do have more adjustment in and out on this. We'll go ahead and seat this one, see how it's lining up with those divots. So it does line up really nice there. Very stout and firm. So that will be the same for the triple stack housing as well. It's gonna be the same dovetail. And then lastly, we will look at the HHA, the Tetra Tournament Edition. And very similar to the Spot Hog, maybe a little bit more. We will go ahead and lock this down. It does look like the pin is a little bit off center as far as the divot. But it actually seated in actually pretty good. Started out a little high, but fell right into place. So well, you can see there that all three of these sites are going to work in this V3X and the bridge lock. Um, the, the one site you're definitely going to have to, you know, timing wise, you're going to have to get the right dovetail is the black golds. Uh, if you do get one, it will work. So the next thing we're going to do is help you guys out on initial setup. Uh, the one thing you have to remember is all of our sites were, you know, mainly set up out of the package to be mounted on the side of the riser. So this has to do with our windage, our left and right adjustment. Well, now that we're sliding everything over, probably three quarters of an inch, you know, we're gonna have to account for that. So our housings generally would be way too far to the left. We're gonna have to move those housings back to the right in order for us to be able to shoot on target. 
So there's a few things you can do within each one of these sites and we'll, we'll start with the black golds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the site apart and move over the bracket. So it's a very simple process. Just gonna unloosen these two screws that have the brass washers and take the dovetail off the pistol. Now what you have here is basically four slots where these two screws can mount up to. So as you can see they're on the right side. So this little football shape adapter is on the left. We want to move it over to the right. Slide them in to the right side of the mount. If you find yourself not having enough right adjustment, you can move this over even further. Use the right screws on the left side of this football bracket and move it over even further. So definitely start with it on the left side. If you do find yourselves running out of adjustment to the right, run it like this and it will work. Uh, really there's no two bows that are going to shoot identical. Um, and so you really have to just on a, you know, a test base, figure out where your bow is going to shoot. Next thing, you're going to put it right back in the pistol and drop in those screws with the brass washers. So that is the adjustment that you'd make on the black gold sight. So taking a look at the spot hog sights, these are a little bit more complex and what you're going to have to do to make these shoot uh, in the right spot as far as your windage uh, adjustment. If you have the single and double pin, uh, one thing to note, I've watched several videos, guys running into this issue with the triple ring that's provided in the kit, it will not work. So you're going to have to take this ring off and you're going to have to shoot their single ring because the housing is going to basically come all the way over to the body of the site. For a lot of guys, this is happening. And to get that adjustment, you're almost all the way maxed out here on the inside. Moving over to the triple stack or the multi-pin housing, the connection point is a little bit different than the single and double pin. Uh, this is the old version. They just came out with a quick disconnect assembly that's going to work for the single and double pin, the multi-pin, and the triple stack. We'll get to that in a second. But if you have this version, this third axis adapter, you're also going to see this L-shaped bracket. And this L-shaped bracket can be mounted in a ton of different positions to give you a lot of left adjustment, center, or even a lot of right adjustment. So initially, if you have this set up, you know, sliding it in, the first thing you're going to want to do is take that housing off. Now that I have this bracket loose, I'll pull it off and basically I will position it to where this bracket now is on the side and I'll take the longer screws into that third axis adapter and then I'll reattach the housing. So you can see I've shifted it over quite a bit. I'll throw in the screws so you guys can look at it. So as you can see there, I am well over the side of the housing, I'm actually covering up some of the ring. Um, you know, it's not ideal being able not to see all parts of that ring, but um, you definitely have a lot more right adjustment. So if you have this third axis adapter, this L-shaped bracket, you definitely can get way over to the right to make this V3X, you know, shoot uh, on target and still have your micro adjustment not be way shifted over on the block itself. So now that I have removed all the parts up front, the, the third axis adapter and that L-shaped bracket, uh, now I'm able to mount up the new quick disconnect assembly. So this is it. I have a video on this adapter. So if you want to get a detailed look at this, I'll put a link up right here so you guys can check it out. Uh, but this adapter basically is going to go right in place of where that third axis adapter was. Now with this system, they basically it allows you to move this six hole spacer over to accommodate your left and right adjustment. So it's a really nice uh, simple system. If I still don't have enough right adjustment, I can take that six hole spacer, flip it over and gain a little bit more. Uh, if that's still not enough, you can take this bracket over, flip it, put it on the far side, and now you can see I'm well over. 
Uh, this is going to be the same concept as the single and double pin, except we have this new mount that's going to attach. So instead of the rod, this is what we have. And it's going to attach right to this six hole spacer. So it's a little bit smaller of a housing, but you're still able to pop that over, move the six hole spacer and really fine tune it. So you definitely want to start with it over. If you can come back, you know, definitely do. Um, but this new bracket system will allow you to run the triple ring. So if you guys like that ring instead of the single, um, you know, be looking forward to these new quick disconnect assembly pieces. So the HHA Tetra Tournament Edition, uh, basically we're seeing all of our sites come standard like this for a long time. They're basically where they mount to the, to the scope housing. It's a straight in line system, as you can see there. Um, however, they just came out with this infinite adjust plate. So it's an offset bracket. The nice thing about this new infinite adjust plate is you can flip it over. You can have more adjustment to the left or the right. So just depending on, you know, how your bow is shooting, um, but it just slides out, leave it loose. So you're able to slide it on the rail system and then tighten it in. As far as the infinite adjust plate, you know, we do sell these by themselves. So if you already have an HHA site, but you're dealing with left and right issues, uh, head to our website and scroll through the HHA sites. You can find those single piece uh, plates. Uh, we are seeing on the new sites, basically they're shipping out with the plate already provided. So that pretty much sums it up as far as what we're covering today. Uh, hopefully it's not too much information. Uh, really like the bridge lock design, moving that site off the side, running it in line. It's going to help with hand torque, eliminating weight off that one side. Uh, so just know that all these sites that we sell at SNS Archery with the dovetail will work. Um, the only thing to watch out for is that black gold compatible V3X dovetail. If you guys have any questions about this video or anything else in the store that we carry, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. If you guys have found this video to be useful in any way, please hit subscribe to follow us along on more gear, hunting, and review videos. Thanks, guys.